Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is our 10th video as part of our series of video related to Tally's release 6.1. And this is going to be the part two of the feature that Tally is provided, that is MSME revised form one. So in the previous video, we saw the prerequisites for you to basically handle the MSME reporting in form one. In this video, let us explore various techniques that we can apply to make sure that the data that you are going to export to the Excel template that has been provided is accurate. So let us go to Tally and explore the techniques related to MSME Form 1 and Excel. In this video, let us explore the MSME Form 1 and Excel. Before we start exploring the annexure that is provided in Tally Prime. Let us understand the term credit period as per MSME Act. Not dwelling too deeply into the subject, the MSME D Act 2006 Section 15 states that business enterprises are required to pay MSMEs within 45 days, provided a written agreement is present. In case there is no written agreement, payment should be made within 15 days. In the case of Form 1, the credit period here as default is considered as 45 days. So Tally will give you the data related to payment within the credit period that is 45 days, after the credit period 45 days and also outstanding bill which are within 45 days from the date of the accounting of the bill and bills which are outstanding beyond 45 days. So this is the credit period we have to remember it is 45 day period. In the previous video, we saw two sections that is parties with valid PAN and those with invalid PAN or no PAN. Remember the revised form of reporting is now based on PAN of the party. Notice here, the first party is Andhra Sales Corporation, which says BLR HO, that is Bangalore HO. And actually this is the ledger that is created in Tally. And the PAN of the party is captured in the party master. And based on the PAN, Tally is now giving you this report. Now this company has branches nationwide. Since the reporting has to be done on PAN based, Tally will consolidate the total bills of the party considering all location bills. Hence, this value that you are viewing is consolidated. Now, when we select the party and when we drill down, we can now view based on ledger wise data as created in tally. So the data here which is computed is as per the 45 day period. So this party we can see here that they have branches in different cities. Now if you want to analyze further you can move the cursor to the amount column. For example let us take the first line item. The amount paid within credit period is 1000. Select the amount and press enter. We can now see the detail of purchase and payment. In case you want to drill down to any of this voucher, all you have to do is select the purchase and just press enter. You will be taken to the voucher detail. Escape. Similarly, you can also check for other ledgers and transactions. Now, before we go back, let us look at the name of the ledger here. It is Tasty Spots Infoway Private Limited. The name is different from the other ledgers that we have created. And why is this getting reported here? Because this ledger has the same pan. How can we check? Click on the amount here, which is 5000. Press enter. And this is the opening balance. So select the opening balance and when you press enter, you will be taken to the 
ledger alteration screen and you will see the pan that is captured here is triple a cp 7879 d now just to cross check whether the same pan is captured for the other ledgers all you have to do is just press escape select any one of this we have already exploded this just click here and press enter we will be in the purchase voucher select the party name and press control enter to go to ledger alteration screen and you will notice that the same pan is entered here escape so you can cross check whether this belongs to the same group of company or you need to re-verify and modify the pan now if you want to include post-rated payments all you have to do is click on include post-rated when you click here you will get a new column the post-rated amounts will reflect in this column you can perform further analysis with the help of the basis of value which we saw in our other videos click on basis of value and here you have various options where you can configure and filter the report based on the information that you are configuring here based on your analysis requirement you can always configure this and view the report now let us come back to the main annexation again make sure you are checking the right side button bar for other analysis now in case let us say you want to analyze this information ledger wise bills all you have to do is click on ledger wise bill here and now we are going to see ledger wise bills with the same breakup click on bill wise and view bill wise details now click on the arrow here and you have these options where you can come back to summary or you can exclude the post rated we had included the post rated amount so let us click here control f8 or click on summary we will be back in the summary report of the annexure in the next video we shall learn how to rectify invalid pan or parties with no pan which is an exception and also we will learn how are we going to export this data into the excel template that is provided by msme i hope this video will help you to manage your msme form 1 reporting if you are obliged to file the form 1 return on a half yearly basis or if you are an mca registered companies so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much